My name is Douglas Rowry from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. What I'm gonna be showing you today is the shield with the tent. This is the shield and this is the standard intubation box which is being used many places. This is the shield that I'm gonna show and demonstrate how we use it by making a tent. The shield can easily be replaced at the top of the head on any OR bed at any time and allows manipulation with, by the provider with their hands in and around the airway. Any laryngoscope of any kind, including direct laryngoscopy, can be used and the provider is protected. In addition, it can be placed from the side as well. So instead of coming from the head, it can also become from the side. That may have application for different kinds of beds, such as a fracture table that has a block here. Once again, it works in all sizes. We demonstrated for the adult, this would be in the pediatric patient. Same thing where the provider has their hands but is protected from any droplet aerosols and can easily do direct laryngoscopy or video laryngoscopy. In order to create the tent or the rest of the protection for the healthcare providers, what we need is preferably clear plastic so that we can see the patient underneath the plastic. I'll demonstrate how easy this is. It can be done with any clear plastic bag, but in the absence of a plastic bag, it can also be done with uh, painter drapes, preferably with a little bit higher thickness than the very thin. It can also be done with clear plastic garbage bags. I'm going to place the bottom of the bag like this. This would be the top of the bag where we would put things in, and all I'm going to do is cut down one side of the seam, and this would all be done prior to taking care of the patient so that you're, you're ready with the shield. I'm all the way down to the corner of the bag, and then I open the bag. And I place the bag over the shield. With the bottom of the bag and the seams that I just opened up right here like this. Once again, this is the bottom of the bag. This is the seam that I opened up to be the side of the bag. I'm then going to take that bottom of the bag and I'm now going to seal the inside of the bag. I'm now creating a tent where I can work. Now we can place the screen for the baby. Once again, they would cover the baby. So I can either place the shield at the head of the bed as we move the patient over, or I can move the patient over with a mask on and then place the shield under the head of the bed. I would then inform the patient I'm gonna cover them up. I cover them up and make a nice little tent around their airway. And now we have a nice little environment for them to be able to breathe and exhale or cough without creating droplets all over the operating room. I, I then can re reach in here in full PPE and manage the airway without any difficulty. Once again, this is the clarity of the view. The view is very good. Once again, one can do direct laryngoscopy in here without any difficulty at all. The visual field is very good and the and the visual acuity through the screen is excellent. One could also use a video laryngoscope as well to then intubate the patient. There are several advantages of this over the standard intubating box, which we've also used as well. One is the intubating box has to have all of your equipment coming in below from the box. And in this, it can all come in from the side. So from the standpoint of the anesthesia provider, A standard circuit can come in to the side, once again, with PPE, and we can adequately pre oxygenate And then you can have another person just keep the tent around your arms so that, once again, no droplets are coming around. The second advantage is that once the patient's draped, another provider without getting contaminated can help you and assist you easily through the plastic. They can see what you're doing. They could give cricoid pressure pull on the lip, pull the stylet out, and everything here would be contained. They're also advantageous because they can use the plastic which is clean and listen for breath sounds, and they don't have to touch any of the contaminated patient skin or the contaminated cloth underneath. So they can listen to breath sounds and have everything clean. In the process, they can also help maintain the tent if need be, if it's not maintained well, and keep it tucked around the arms. That would be an assistant. 
The other thing is, once again, you know, instead of having everything coming from below, if you forget something, someone can just place it on a table and you could put the plastic back over. And lastly, when we are finished at the end, we can either keep this on during the case after intubation, if we're gonna extubate the patient, we can use this in the ICU for extubation and maintain any other kind of airway intervention underneath this as well. But as soon as we're done with it, or in the case of intubation, the airway secured, we can then easily eliminate all of the contaminated plastic, ball it up inside itself, and discard it into the trash. Once again, this is just to demonstrate in the, some of the problems that we've encountered with using the box. Uh, one is that once you put your hands in, you're limited in motion to where your hands are. That doesn't happen when you're under the plastic. It also has a seam which has potential to impair your view of the airway if you're doing direct laryngoscopy. If you're doing video laryngoscopy, it doesn't come into play. And then, as I alluded to before, you still need to put plastic on to keep everything, everything from creating droplets coming out the bottom of the box. But everything that comes into the box needs to be coming this way, including suction and everything. And there isn't anyone that can help you by handing you things. And if they do need to try and help you, they don't have the same access because everything's very far. They can't just grab through the plastic. They have to grab through the plastic this way and come up and try and help you that way, which is is a little bit more cumbersome. And the shield is manufactured in the US. They're made to order. They're easily obtainable at this point. And once again, allows more maneuverability and freedom and access than the standard intubating box. This is a different alternative technique that I think provides some distinct advantages to the standard box. And I hope that this will provide some novel benefit to healthcare providers. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you and stay safe.